there's never going to be closure. There's never closure. There's nothing that brings Annie back. Forgiveness still far gone for the father of Annie Kasperzak. She was the Riverton teen brutally murdered four years ago. Hugs outside the courtroom today just moments after her killer was sentenced to 15 years to life in prison. Now you may remember this face right here and the twists and the turns of the high profile murder case from 2012 that made national headlines. Years after the fact though, Darwin Bagshaw confessed to the crime and today that 18 year old learned his fate in court. New specialist Nicole Val was there when his sentence was handed down. A brutal murder of a young uh, woman. Uh, 14, 15 years of age uh, is something that is chilling to the core. Judge James Blanche called the details of the crime chilling and unspeakable, sentencing 18-year-old Darwin Chris Bagshaw to 15 years to life in prison. Uh, because of the actions that you did, that you undertook. March 11, 2012, the 15-year-old body of Annie Kasperzak was found in the Jordan River, her body violently beaten with a shovel. It wasn't until years later that Bagshaw confessed to the horrific crime. He pleaded guilty in February. He had every single day he could have come forward and said, I'm sorry. Kasperzak's family addressed the court. At any point in time, he could have come forward and he did not. Her mother turning to Bagshaw with strong words. May you feel loss. May your tears heal your soul. In a last minute move, Bagshaw's attorneys fought for a lighter sentence, arguing he was only 14 at the time of the murder and his ability to make rational decisions was skewed by synthetic marijuana. That the adolescent brain continues to develop. Bagshaw offered this brief apology. I'm very sorry for everything that's happened and I want to apologize to Annie's family and to my family. The victim's family embraced outside of the courtroom, but closure. Is this closure? There's never going to be closure. They say is still too far away. Nicole Vowell, KSL 5 News. Nicole.